Day. I'm so happy to see you because we're getting ready to celebrate Valentine's during our story time. And I have a lot of fun um, activities planned for us. If you enjoy this story time, you can catch more story times at 1030 a.m. on Facebook. And we also keep all of our many different kinds of story time videos going on our library's website, www.finleylibrary.org. Um, there's a virtual story time page in our children's um, menu. And then you can also check out our YouTube channel and just click one after another of our story times. It's the Finley Library channel. So, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to have some fun with some Valentines. I'm so excited to sing with you. So let's get started. Um, ready to sing. Let's sing Can You Clap with Two Hands. So it goes like this. Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands? Clap, 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 clap. Ready? Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands? Okay, next will be two feet, that stomp, two arms, that hug, and then two lips, that kiss. All right, so let's sing together. Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands? Can you stomp with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you stomp with two feet? Can you hug with two arms, two arms, two arms? Can you hug with two arms? Hug, 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 hug. Can you kiss with two lips, two lips, two lips? Can you kiss with two lips? This is so exciting. I have Valentine's. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little Valentines were sent to my house. The first one said, I love you from Mouse. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. Five little Valentines in my mailbox. The second one said, Be mine, love box. How many envelopes do I have left? How many Valentines? One, two, three, four. Four little Valentines full of love. The third one said, You are sweet from Dove. How nice. How many Valentines do we have left? One, two, and three. Three little Valentines just for me. The fourth one said, Be my honey, love be. How many do we have left? One, two. Two little Valentines mailed with care. The fifth one said, Let's see, here's a hug from there. See that? Now, how many do I have left? One. The last little Valentine from my friend Jay. 
this one said, Happy Valentine's Day. I just love getting a Valentine's. How about you? about colors, it aids them in being able to be specific when describing objects around them. So learning color names can be complicated though because they come in so many different hues for each color. So how can we make this easier for our children? Well, one way is to incorporate identifying colors that are around you each day, um, like pointing out that Look at that big, tall tree with the green leaves. And maybe later it's, mmm, that's a yummy green apple. By simply pointing out colors, your children are learning that in this example, there are two different shades of green, but they're both still green. One might be darker and one might be lighter. Still the same color though, and that will help. Now, Another fun way to learn about colors is with a fun matching game. And because it's Valentine's Day, I thought we could use hearts. So you will want to cut two hearts from the same color paper. So we have two yellow and we have two blue hearts. And I'll show you an easy way to cut hearts. Take a piece of paper Fold it in half. Then take the right size scissors for you and with a caregiver's help, you start this way, go up and around. You see how I turn my paper to help me cut? I don't have to turn my scissors, I turn my paper. And then I'm coming back to that folded edge Ta-da, a heart. And this is what my paper looks like now. You can kind of tell there was a heart there, huh? So, adults, this is a great chance for your children to practice their cutting skills. So I hope that you will draw them half of a heart on the fold and then let um, assist them while they cut. And also this is a great chance to trace shapes. So you can take that shape you cut and trace it on a paper. But we're not gonna do that right now. We wanna play a game, right? So the game we're going to play is matching. So we'll do heart shapes in lots of different colors. So I have yellow, I have blue, and I have some that are purple. But if you notice, can you tell kids? These are both purple, but they're different colors of purple. They're different shades of the color purple, I should say. So then you take your, take your shapes, mix them up. I'm gonna mix mine right here. Sorry, you can't see, but I'll hold them up in a second. So I have a mixed pile and you can lay them out so you can see each one in a row, or you can kind of try to make the match out of your pile. So do these go together? What do you think? No, this one's yellow and this one's blue. Those are not a match. Oh, this one's tricky. Do these two match? No, they're both purple, but they're not the same purple, are they? How about these two? Did they match? Yes, they're both purple. Great job. What about these? Yep, two yellow hearts, they match. Great job. See how fun that is and really simple to do with just some paper around the house. Now, want even more fun with these hearts? Why not take a yellow heart and see what you can find in your house that matches? What else is yellow? I'm thinking of a banana. Can you find one?
much fun today. What a great time getting ready for Valentine's. Thanks for coming to my Valentine party. If you enjoyed singing and reading that really fun Click Clack Moo book, I have more books you might enjoy on my virtual bookshelf, so check them out. Also, are you looking for even more story time fun? I have some new fun things for you to do, like Steam Storytime, if you haven't checked it out yet. Mondays at 10.30 a.m., I put out new Steam Storytimes each time on Facebook, and then you can find them on our other various sites I mentioned earlier. This is a lot of fun because we explore the world around us with science and we do experiments and read awesome books and sing songs. So I hope you'll check it out. Also, did you come to my live story time snippet? If you didn't, I hope you'll join me next month. They're on the first Wednesday of the month at 10.30 a.m. via Zoom. So you will need to sign up and you can do that on our Facebook page by um, finding the link for um, this event, or you can also check out our webpage. I am so excited to see you at my next live story time where we get to interact with one another, we get to talk and sing and read stories and do all the fun story time stuff, but we get to see each other and you get to do it all from the comfort of your home. So I hope to see you then. Until next time, I hope you'll keep reading amazing books and take good care. Bye, friends.